For years I've been seeing you in my dreams, and lately more and more. I know it's you, but I can no longer recognize your face. I don't know if I'd recognize you if I saw you. I hope your condition hasn't worsened much since you last wrote. I can hardly imagine what a nightmare you're going through. Remember, you're not alone. I'm sure our father would be happy to help, if only you asked him. I assure you that for now, I haven't said a word to him about your search or your health, just as you requested. He doesn't know your intention, and with God as my witness, he'll not find out from me. I know you think the only thing that can help you is a miracle. But such itinerant miracle workers, preachers, and folk mystics often take advantage of those in grave condition who are desperate or seeking help. I hope the man you're pursuing can actually ease your mind. But if not, remember that in the end, we will find a way to help you. Just because we can't see it now, does not mean it doesn't exist. Send word as soon as you get there. I want to know you are safe. With as much love as I have. Rikia. Could you spare a moment for me? I'd like to send a telegram. Of course. Pardon me, sir, but are you feeling all right? Yes, thank you. You're not looking your best. Thank you. What's your message? Take this down, please. Arrived. I think I have found him. I hope he will receive me. I will write as soon as I am able. And payment? On receipt. Anything to add at the end? Please add, my love to you, my sister. Touching. From whom? My name is Viktor Shulski, S-Z-U-L-S-K-I, and Viktor with a W, not a V. Interesting name. Where's this headed? Warsaw, Russia. And this is supposedly Georgia. Russia here and Russia there. Russia everywhere, on every map. Maps change. I know, I know. Let's get on with it. Pardon? I was talking to myself. Which way to the village? The coachman is picking up the mail. Maybe he'll give you a ride. Thank you. Looney.
Hello. Are you going to the village by any chance? Hello there. Where else? There's nowhere to go here, sir. The station, the village, and the cemetery. That's all. A horse can't go any higher. The village is what interests me. Well, if you've got reason to be there, climb in. So is it just locals living in the village? Who else would want to live in a shithole like this? I actually meant, is there anyone visiting, a guest? Ah, you came for some healing. Well, he's no guest here. He's been here months, my friend. The people are tormented, so he's sure got folks to heal. Where might I find him? I bet he's still in the tavern. He prays this time of day. Oh, he prays a heck of a lot. You getting in, or what? I'd be grateful. Always nice to have someone to shoot the breeze with. Nothing to see around here. Ah, this is everything. Hard to get lost in this place. Head to the tavern over there, past the little square, up the steps. They'll tell you where the preacher's at. Or this time of day, he'll be there himself. Thank you. Gentlemen, is this the tavern here? Hey, Putnik. You coming from far? Indeed, I'm tired. Nice boots. Are they warm? Actually, I have particularly warm boots. Thanks. And sooner or later, these might kick their arses. Don't tempt me, Luca. Don't tempt me. Give me a sec. I got to sort out formalities with this tourist. It's your Znami. We are the Tsar's soldiers. Those don't look like soldiers' faces. Closer to thieves. I don't think he'll talk to us voluntarily. There's the Ruskies right. They won't report us. They'll be too embarrassed to admit some cripple got the better of them.
Good boy. Forgive me, sir. Is your name Grigory Efimovich Rasputin? I forgive you. I'm sorry. It's just I've been looking for you for a very long time, and... And you expected a thinking simpleton. An illiterate who swindles sick people and claims he can speak to God himself. I already said I forgive you. Yes, I've heard. Especially in Petersburg. I've also heard about the healings. Even hopeless cases. Inexplicable ones. And what do you believe in? If you help me, I'll believe all of it. And please believe me when I say I've tried everything short of a miracle. And I know the meaning of that word. I'm a thaumaturge. Where are you coming from? I first learned of you in Paris. A charismatic miracle worker from Russia. I even heard about you from my doctors. By the time I got to Petersburg, you were already gone. I've crossed almost three continents, through Siberia, India, and half of Europe. But if you're asking me about my origins, I'm from Poland. From which Poland? The Russian one, the German one, or the part that belongs to Austria? From Warsaw. Do you have a name? Viktor Shulski. On my path, I've already come across people who have lied to me about their problems, and then gone around calling me a charlatan. After them, others arrived, with pitchforks and torches, and I had to endure insults and spit in my face, or flee for my life. And now you say you're a wizard from an imaginary country that no one has seen on a map in over a hundred years. Forgive my amusement, I haven't had my first coffee yet. I forgive you, and I'm still asking for help. Prove your thaumaturge, and I'll hear what you have to say. What would you like me to do, sir? I've met a few of your kind, so I know what you're capable of. Find something in this tavern that belongs to me, and tell me something only I could know. First, I need to have something personal that belongs to you to learn your trace. It's a sort of pattern I'll use to recognize the other objects. Smell this. I'll return to you in a moment. I can hardly wait. Let's take a look around. You will be mine, secret. Who would have thought there were such layers of passion within him?
What have you learned, wizard? Well, you're a zealous man. It permeates every level of your personality, your faith, your abilities. Not such an impressive discovery. I haven't finished yet. In Petersburg, you left behind a very devoted and very young lady-in-waiting. At least one, my friend. Have a seat. Tell me again, why were you looking for me? I can't help but ask you about that young lady from Petersburg. Careful, I'm starting to like you. But not enough to tell you about Petersburg. How do you think I might help you? <sighs> a few years ago, I attempted to catch a wild salutor, and that ended with me losing contact with my first salutor. That means I can't develop my abilities. I know that my Uber is there. Sometimes he shows himself, but I can't feel the link anymore. Generally speaking, I'm losing it more and more each day. If it disappears, my mind... I'll lose my sense of reality. I'll fall into madness. I don't know if I can help you. I've got money, if that's what matters. Give it to the needy. Your riches mean nothing to me. I meant I don't know if I'm able to help you. My gift is something I've received from God. Some I've helped, others I can't say. And I've never treated a thaumaturge. Maybe just do the same with me as with the others. We can try. Focus on my voice. You are safe. As long as you can hear my voice, you are safe. Let me gaze into your mind. Let me see through your eyes. Let me... Well, where am I? Rasputin. There's no one in here. I need to get out of here. What is this sound? Shackles? You're blind. You've never grasped the science of spotting the perfectly obvious. Can you still not see? What do I supposedly not see? Flaw clouds your vision. It always has. Pride. Your damned pride and sense of superiority. I must have gotten that from you, father. You lose, idiot. You always do. You're even losing against yourself. You can't see, but can you at least hear? You're weak, stupid, and blind. Do you hear me? Do you? Do you? I can see, Father. Clearly. Will you be lying there much longer? I wanted to sweep. Where's Rasputin? Uh, 
in the cemetery, chasing away evil spirits and giving people comfort. You all right? Yes, yes. Absolutely. I wanted to sweep. I'm just heading out. It's so good to see you again. And something else. I saw him clear as day. It wasn't a vision. It was a salutar, unbound by a pact. A wild one. And if so, that means there's someone in the village with a flaw that's attracting it. You talking to me? I was praying. I wanted to sweep. Excuse me. I need to get to the local cemetery. Could you give me a lift? I've only just come back from the post office this morning. I'm not getting the horse going again. Back to the cemetery. It's not like anyone there is going to run away. And look, my horse is more dead than alive. I'll be right back. lifting a finger. Just Vesna will bring it. Vesna will help. But if Vesna needs help with something, there's nobody to be found. Hmm. That's not yours. Don't touch. All these newcomers causing more problems. Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is something here. Sensing. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. I'm telling you. 
telling you, go away, or I'll call for help. Help! Help! Somebody help me! What are you doing here, you tramp? I'm not looking for trouble. I just wanted to talk. We'll talk, all right. Devil sent you. You could say that, sure. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please leave. Please, please. I'm not going anywhere. Maybe you'll change your mind and drop me off at the cemetery after all. Well, on the other hand, this place isn't much more exciting than the cemetery, and I meant to take the horse out for a ride, so get on. Does that mean I helped, Thaumaturge? I see him. My Upper. He's back. I can feel our bond growing stronger as each moment passes. I'm happy for you. 
but do restrain your joy. We're in the cemetery. I don't have enough words, sir, to thank you for what you've done for me. I haven't felt this way in years. I'm glad I could help. When I heard you were at the cemetery, I was sure I'd see you resurrecting the dead. Not yet. Today I'm just praying for rest for Vasily's soul. The whole village is suffering after his loss. He was the elder here. He cursed this place. Since he died, darkness and misfortune have hung over the village. You see? To them, every harm comes down to witchcraft. They believe that after Vasily's passing, the village was possessed by some monster that howls at night or some other yuffiets. What changed in the village after the Elder died? It's all dreadful, sir. Everything's gone topsy-turvy. When folks get to arguing now, they're so hot-headed. Before you know it, they're at one another's throats. Ladies have no patience for kids, nor lads for ladies, nor neighbors for neighbors. Any word might seem offensive and like an insult waiting to happen. Then you've got to fight. Tragedies such as Vasily's death leave their mark on everyone. It takes time to come to terms with something like this. That doesn't mean this place is possessed by dark forces. How did this elder die? There was a fire, sir. Flames shooting sky high, and him burning, swearing, speaking curses. And the curse stuck. Those ruins seem a profaned place now. A wicked spirit has taken over the blighted land. Don't encourage her. Once she gets going, it can't be stopped. This could also be the work of a salita. What do you mean? As you were healing me, I had a dream, a vision. But on the borderline of sleep and wakefulness, I thought I saw a salito. That's what might be influencing the villages and wailing at night. They're good people, but none too bright, Victor. I'm afraid they might be talking about a train. The wise woman was saying the evil spirit is a book of hatch. Does the creature hunting you rattle chains, slither around, and have a mouth full of giant fangs? A book of hatch. Where did this elder live? I'll show you. Let's allow Vasily's soul to rest for today. Amen. What do you expect to find in this place? The fire was almost a year ago. Eh, time doesn't matter much here. I'm looking for clues and personal traces that will lead me to whoever's carrying the floor that lured the Salutar here. I see. I thought I could be helpful to you, but... I don't really understand what you're telling me. Above all, flaws are deeply hidden marks left on human souls. They form under the influence of tragic events. What does that have to do with salutors? Is that Latin? Yes, from the word newcomer. People have always taken salutors to be spirits, demons, or imps. Like from those fairy tales, the wise woman and the other old crones tell the locals. Sometimes. 
Those sorts of fairy tales and legends describe how humans perceive the salutor. They don't take a physical form. Salutors are attracted to the flaws hidden within people. Thaumaturges discover these flaws inside someone, bring them to the surface, and adopt them to lure the salutor. Those are the moments when I've usually failed. I haven't been able to hold on to a salutor. I didn't know how to bind one to myself. What about you? Do you have a flaw? I bear the flaw of pride. I wouldn't have guessed. And now? Thanks to your help, I can once again discover people's flaws and the salutors hiding behind them. And I think I'm now able to catch my second salutor. People always leave behind individual bits of their personality, even on everyday objects and such. I can decipher the thoughts and actions imprinted on these objects, and then match them to their owner. This lets me gather immense knowledge about a person, especially if I need to find someone. What else can you do? If I do manage to catch another Sadita, that would be a very rare occurrence, in fact. An ordinary Thaumaturge wouldn't even try more than once. Only a few have multiple salutars. Why? Some have lost their lives trying, others their senses. I was close to madness. I lost my sense of reality. I didn't know what was true. But I know I can do it. I'm... Almost a hundred percent sure. Isn't this exactly the sort of thinking that caused your problems that led you to me? That doesn't matter anymore. Then what's changed? This time, I've got you with me. Why did you want to come here with me? I have never gotten to know a thaumaturge so closely. I'd like to learn as much as possible about your abilities. I need to look around this place a little more. I won't stop you. Can you feel it? It's the smell of mystery. A horrible death. I felt something. Where is it? I... <sighs> This house was always full of fear, and its owner was still alive when the house caught fire. Someone wanted to kill him. The fire only covered up the crime. The murder gave birth to the flaw that you attached to, didn't it? I'll find you when I track down the murderer. I know who owns this doll. Maybe I should give him back to her. She ought to know more about what happened here.
Victor! I hope you've got what you want now, Thaumaturge. Because I think it's time to get out of here. Why the hurry, father? We're the Tsar's men. How about the donation for the Tsar's army? There are no Russian outposts here. I think this is the guy with the nice boots. You're the guy who trashed our comrades? I can do exactly the same to all of you. He's not as weak as he looks. He actually looks better than he did the other day. But not counting the priest. He's still alone. Not anymore, I'm not. You're right, sir. Me? Yes, but can these salutors also help you in a fight? Can you manipulate people and cast these demons into their minds? Generally speaking, yes. Are you sure you're right, sir? Call me Grigori. Let's head back. I have to visit someone in the village who can tell me more about what happened here. Now I know that woman's trace. Vesna and her husband both left traces of themselves at Vasily's burned-out farmstead. Luca sincerely loves his wife. You think he loves her strongly enough to kill for her? You're right. It'd be better to ask Vesna about that. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please open the door. I'd like to have a chat about your husband. You'd better not be here when he gets back. He's not as talkative or polite as I am.
I know you're scared, but please, just open the door a crack and let me ask one quick question. What do you want? I think I've got something of yours. I found it by your father's burned-out farmhouse. You've imprinted your fear onto it. I know because I'm a thaumaturge. I want to help. What do you want to know? Where can I find your husband? In the clearing, by the forest. He's chopping wood with the others. Thank you. Get that thing out of here! Again. This time it's a matter of life and death. How is your search going? Almost finished. I know who's attracting the Bukavach. Can you reveal that secret? It's Luca. It has to be Luca. Do you still want to catch that Salvador? Yes, absolutely. Despite the risk? I hope I can persuade you to come with me. That's an enormous favor you're asking me. I hope you'll be able to return it. I give my word. Did you hear? We're going to see Luca Bogosian. I'm not here to fight. Luca! You shouldn't have threatened my wife. Why did you do this? I don't know what you're talking about. You're the one who brought the Salitor here. The spirit that you all say arrived in the village after Vasily's death. The Salitor is what's making fear consume you all and making you hot-headed. And it's because of your flaw, which has been within you since the murder took place. A murder might just be about to take place. Cut off his head. What? Tear off his head before he opens his mouth again! Unless... you're the one that killed him. And I'd do it again if I could! Get out of here! Here you are, Bukala. Vesna's floor is mine, and you are mine.
Crazy again, you blind fool. A little faith, Thaumaturge. Focus on what's true. My voice is true. I am the truth, you see. Look. How do you feel? Are you alright? Well, I don't think I'm hallucinating, but that means I'm currently facing a crowd of furious lumberjacks with axes, so I'd say I've been better. What? What? I'm telling the truth. I'd do it again. None of you understand anything. It's because of this magician. It's his fault. The magician didn't kill Vasily. He didn't bring the evil here. You're a witch! To the stake with her! To the stake! And you? Why are you just standing there? Are you just letting them do this? Fine. I'll handle it myself. I did it before, and I can do it now. What, what have you done? Go. You don't need to see this. Think, Luca. Your feelings for Vesna are still true, I know that. Hear out her reasons before you do anything. Okay. You two better not come back to the village! As if we wanted to. Excuse me, sir. Do you happen to know when the train arrives? The postmaster said it's usually no more than an hour late, so it should be here any moment. I got a tougher question for you. Uh, pardon? Will this train get me close to Albuquerque? I'm afraid that's an ocean away, and even to the ocean you've got a ways to go. Thank you. Ever since I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque, I can't get my bearings. 
Things I've seen, sir. Places I've been. I just can't get to Albuquerque. I wanted to send two telegrams, one to Warsaw and one to Paris. Mr. Shulsky, I was meant to send for you when the driver came to get the mail. My condolences about your father. Do you still want to send something? <sighs> Did you come to say goodbye to me? More like to share my fear. Your condition yesterday, after the fight with that... Bukovac. It troubled me. I don't think my treatments are having a long-lasting effect. And you don't look the best. Do you feel all right? I've just heard that my father is dead. My condolences. After your treatment, when I was hallucinating, I saw him. I heard his voice for the first time in years. I'm sure it was him. A strange feeling. Maybe he came to say goodbye. Maybe it was his last chance to speak to you. A prophecy. I hope not. What do you intend to do now? I have to bury my father in Warsaw. Hmm. What about you? Thanks to you. I don't think I have anything else to do here. I had a little time to think about what I saw in your mind. Tell me, Victor. Have you ever seen a human skull cracked open on the cobblestones? I haven't. I have. The skull of Franz Ferdinand himself with his brain spilling out onto the sidewalk. I also saw the white steps in Odessa running with blood, a battlefield blanketed in lethal fog, with faceless beings emerging from it. This hasn't happened yet, but I saw it as clearly as I see you now. Thanks to you, I know that I can stop it. I know that I am part of history, and I can change it. Even at the cost of scorn, contempt, or my life. You promised me a favor, so Warsaw sounds perfect. <laughs> 